What is up ladies and gentlemen, it's Aaron with Aaron's Aquatics and today we've got a really special video. We're going to be unboxing round two of the Crystal Red Shrimps. Let's do this! Before we continue, I want to cover a couple things. First, I'm still wearing my business clothes because I just got back from work. And actually, I also just got back from a business trip. Um, business trip was a reason why I haven't really posted within the past week. And I know a lot of people have been asking for an update about the Crystal Red Shrimps, where I've been with the seller and everything like that. So that's where I want to talk about today. And that's basically what today's video is going to be about. So Joe with Cats Aquatics, um, he and I worked out, um, Actually, we didn't really work out anything. He felt sorry for the situation. He was really disappointed that the shrimp arrived DOA. Um, and because of that, he just sent a whole new batch um, completely free of charge, no issues whatsoever. It did take a little bit of extra time just because we wanted to make sure that there was a cool pack um, just because of the temperatures it's been here in Texas. And that's really probably what the issue is. So I'm actually pretty nervous, pretty excited, but before we get into this, I want to preface anything or any questions that come uh, in the future. Let's take a quick look. Um, I will go over this in a future video, but right here I have my uh, Sabwasser Tang on a coconut and I uh, have wrapped it with, you can see it a bit at the top. It's a project that I have been working on. I will be talking about that more later. I also, again, I'm trying to make these twin tanks, so I'm doing about the same thing. The shrimp absolutely love it. Like, they, they a lot of the times they're on it, but I just fed them, so that's where they're all chilling by the, uh, the, the feeding bowl. Mochi, get out of my suitcase. I don't got cat fur. Like I said, I just got back. So, anyways, um, so what I want to do right now, actually, I'm kind of cheating, by the way. Um, I'm already drip acclimating the uh, shrimp. So, spoiler, they may not be dead. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and jump to the unboxing. I'll see you guys here in a few seconds. All right, for attempt number two, let's go ahead and get right into this. I don't really want a whole lot of preamble. Um, by the way, uh, I, I, I went ahead and said that, but then somebody was like, oh man, you keep using this stupid ugly ass knife. Look at this. Look how beautiful this knife is. I'm telling you, see this little cheap plastic piece? It's already broken off on this end for like an artisanal feel. It's really a fantastic knife. Um, I mean, people who just don't understand, you know, the, 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 the wonders of a knife that can barely cut, you know, bar none. So let's, let's just go ahead and do this. See, look, look, it opens boxes perfectly. Would definitely buy again, you know what I'm saying? Okay, <laughs> let's go ahead and get into this. I'm really kind of nervous. That's why I'm, more, I'm making jokes, because I'm nervous, all right? I'm definitely okay with talking about my own fallacies here. So, so change right off the bat is we have some styrofoam right here on the top. Um, you know, between last time and this time, hopefully the temperature wasn't too, too bad on these little shrimps. Okay, I can tell you right now, the bag feels cool cool to the touch, right? So let's go ahead and set this down. Um, one thing I do want to look at, okay, actually this, this is pretty nice. Wow, okay. So um, Sam with Cats Aquatics went ahead and provided me with some of these pellet food um, and a little bit more of his uh, cholo wood pieces, which man, you, you totally didn't have to do that. I really appreciate that, but I mean, it was with the first order. Um, I still have it right here. I've got some uh, uh, almond leaves or, um, you know, and, and then some alder cones and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I'm really happy he gave this stuff for completely for free, by the way. Um, and he gave me some more stuff with the purchase, which is which is really nice. Let's go ahead and just open this up. Uh, which way is this facing? I can't really tell. Is it? Are there multiple bags inside here? Maybe I should maybe I should look before I just start cutting. Um, okay, this looks like the top. So let's just go ahead and snip this part. All right. Go. Okay. Yeah, this feels really nice and cool. Very happy about that. All right. Let's see how these turned out. Oh God, styrofoam falling everywhere. All right, I do see some life. All right. Everybody, let's take a look. 
Let's get some zoom action going on here. Come on. All right. Um, I don't know if you guys can see it. We do have some life. It's really hard to see in this bag. But we do see a bunch of active shrimp. I will go ahead and count these when we do the uh, drip acclimation. I do see a snail bro right there on the bag. He looks awesome. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, no, we'll, we'll go ahead, plop these inside of the uh, drip bag and a uh, drip bucket and we'll go ahead and go from there. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, so we have deposited the shrimp, the crystal red shrimp into my bucket where we are drip acclimating them. Um, it's gonna take a little bit, but we are gonna wait an hour or two. And again, by the magic of YouTube, this won't really be a big deal for everyone involved, except for me. Um, so quick thing, these crystal reds are a little bit smaller than the ones that I had last time, which, you know, I mean, it's perfectly fine with me. Uh, the smaller they are, the younger they are, typically, and because of that, they acclimate better into a uh, shrimp tank. Um, one thing, though, that I found kind of interesting is, according to Joe, and I really haven't had a chance to talk to him about it that much, is he just said, told me today that some of the, uh, uh, the shrimp that he sent were actually uh, PRLs, or pure red lines, um, which is very, very close to crystal red shrimp, if not the same. They're just they're based off of a pure bloodline from Japan or something like that. I really don't know the full details, um, but the reason why he sent them was because he didn't, I guess he didn't know how many uh, full crystal red shrimps he had, so he sent those along as well. But I'll get some more details for those guys in the future. Anyways, um, let's go ahead and just, um, I'll cut back to this in about an hour, two hours, but uh, see you guys in a few seconds. All right, I'm back. It's been about two hours. I've gotten changed into something a hell of a lot more comfortable. Uh, the crystal red shrimps, as you saw, are inside the tank. It looks like they're doing great. Um, but now that they're in there, I wanna talk about a couple things. First, it seems that there were zero deaths. Zero deaths in this shipment. It was absolutely fantastic. Now, there is one inside the tank that doesn't look so good. I transported him in the tank and he just kind of fluttered around a little bit. Um, I'll keep an eye on that one. Um, my experience, typically, it's not gonna do so well. So we'll call him little Timmy, and we'll see how Timmy is in the morning. Uh, so something I kind of wanted to talk about is my algae situation. Um, I'll, I'll go ahead and show you, and let's take a look. So this is the uh, Bloody Mary tank. Almost zero algae. I mean, you got a little bit of some stuff going on here on the left side, but for the most part, it's very clean, very clear. Now these guys have basically decimated a lot of the food sources in here, you know, like the normal ones um, that you can find. In here, I've got a good amount, okay? Which is funny because it's almost the exact same parameters on top of my sponge filter, um, along the sides, um, some growing on my Rotala, and uh, just a quick heads up, the uh, crypt in the back didn't do so well. I'm not entirely sure why. Maybe it's the parameters that the crystal reds require that's a little bit different because my crypt over here is doing absolutely fantastic. So that being said, I'm curious what you guys would say about this algae situation. Now, the crystal reds that I was sent um, are tiny, right? These guys are really, really small. So even if I was on the on the side of saying, hey, let's go ahead and put an auto in here. The golden rule of thumb is that if something can fit in the mouth of the other thing, then it'll try to eat it. That's how it works. Catfish, regular fish, you keep cichlids, saltwater fish, it does not matter. That's usually how it goes. And I'll go ahead and say the same thing. Autos don't typically eat shrimp, right? 
but if it's got a small little shrimp baby, a shrimplet, sitting on top of a scrumptious looking piece of algae, then maybe it'll get an extra dose of protein. I don't really know, but that's not the point. If you guys have any suggestions about algae in this situation until maybe the population grows a little bit higher enough where I don't really care if I have an auto in there and that I lose one or two here and there, that's fine. Um, let me know in the comment section below. I'd really appreciate that. Anyways guys, that's about it. I'm really excited that the Crystal Reds are inside the tank. Joe, thank you very much for sending me this shipment. I mean, the, they look awesome. They may be really small, but you know what? That's a good thing in tanks, right? You send shrimp when they're young, they're juveniles, and they ho hopefully they will grow into a stronger, hardy colony. So with that, I appreciate that. Guys, if you're interested in buying shrimp, check out in the description uh, the, the description below um, and check out this guy's website. He's awesome, very nice to work with, and he's on shrimpspot.com as well. So if you guys wanna check him out there, he posts there relatively frequently, I think. That being said, this is it. My name is Aaron, this is Aaron's Aquatics. I'll see you guys next time.